Hello and welcome back to the farm. We're in December 9 a.m. in the morning. We have some weeds to remove today, but today is probably going to be way more exciting than I had anticipated. Because if we take a look here in the menu and go right over here and click on oats, for example, let's take a look at the show uh, price fluctuations. As you can see, it says here that the top price is 636. But if I sh click show current prices, we have it going for way more than that. $712 per 1000 liters. And that, I guess, is the best price we're going to get. It is going up, so I assume maybe if we wait, it is going to go up even more. But I'm afraid if I skip another month, that things are going to go back down and I'm going to miss the big prices. If we take a look at this one as well, Okay, yeah, soybeans are not ready at all, but silage on the other hand, 192, 198, and that is decreasing as well. But the bio biogas plant is increasing as we speak, so maybe we're going to sell stuff. Oh yeah, I haven't even checked the lettuce yet. Uh, where's the lettuce at? All right, so it says up here, top price is 1,075, 1,090. And it's going down, but these are going up. So again, I don't know how precise that is. I've heard that it can be not precise, so I don't know what to go for here. I guess we're going to remove the weeds first of all, and then uh, we'll have to check it out afterwards to see what it is. We might skip a month regardless, but I, <laughs> I'm not sure what to do here. But let us now equip our brand new weeder which also has our canola in, but we are not going to plant it this month. I believe that's definitely not the month to put in canola. Nope, that is in March. But with this new weeder, removing the weeds should be way, way faster of a job. Our previous one was six meters wide. This one is nine. So, okay, I didn't expect the grass out there to disappear. Yeah, and at a pretty decent speed as well. This is really going to go quick. Now I just need to decide whether or not I'm going to go ahead and sell things or if I'm going to risk it and skip to January and hope that the prices are going to be even better. I'm honestly not sure what to pick in this situation. It's a really, really tough decision because either I make money or I lose more money. <laughs> well, not lose money, but well, yes, I would be losing money if I take a bad deal, obviously. But yeah, I am not sure what to pick in this situation. I'm very, very torn because I have heard that that price fluctuator thing can be a little bit off, which yeah... I want to get the most value that I can possibly get from the things that we have harvested so far, of course. On another note though, this job is extremely fast with this new machine. Definitely worth the money and I can't wait till we actually need to sew in the canola because that's going to be even faster than anything else we've done before. I'm very excited about that. If we actually sold some things we would actually have enough money to go ahead and buy field, well, this field over here, harvest the barley whenever it's ready, and maybe we would be able to get canola in in that field together with the other fields as well. That would be kind of cool. Hmm. That's definitely an option. Why does this always happen to me? Where my equipment is just, just not wide enough. Why? <laughs> Why does this keep happening? It happens every single time it feels. <sighs> Look at that tiny strip that is missing. That's so annoying. <laughs> Why? I don't know why, but for some reason this weeder also removes the grass that it touches. Which... I guess it's supposed to do that, maybe? I don't quite know. But, I also missed a few pieces. Also, I've changed the time to elapse, well, 30 times faster than real time. 
because I want to see if, how much the price has actually changed when we are done removing the weeds in this field and the small field as well. Of which we are done with this field right here. Boom. That literally took no time at all. That was so good to use this weeder. Love it. Now I just gotta do this one, which again really shouldn't take that long to do considering the size of the field and this weeder. If I could get position correctly. Yep, as per usual, a tiny piece is left. <laughs> it, it, it almost happens every time at this rate. But with that said, this field is now... Boom. Complete. Now we're just missing this field right here. I will make sure that they don't need anything else, such as lime spreading or anything like that. Let's take a look. Weeds have been dealt with, except for field 47. Uh, does it look like they need plowing or... Well, we can't plow them right now anyway. Rolling needs to be done after canola has been put in, so... Yeah. This is really all we need to do in order to put in the canola in March. I'm still very much debating whether or not to skip <laughs> to the next month before selling. I think I probably will. Actually, let's uh, let's start in the other corner over here. I will double check the prices because three hours has passed in game. It did not take me three hours in real life to do those fields. <laughs> let's just get into position here. So the prices are definitely improving. The top being 1,075 top currently being 1100 but again these are rising and it would be annoying to sell it for 1100 now and then be able to get 1300 in January because I do believe that these prices right here is from the previous year the price that it hit in the, the top price that hit in the previous year so yeah if you have any knowledge in that do let me know down below in the comments and then I'll know for next time or for the next harvest. But for now, I'm gonna get rid of these weeds and I'll see you when we're done. This should only take a moment. All right, that literally took about five minutes or so, <laughs> which with this thing is absolutely awesome. Oh, so here it doesn't remove the grass from the path. That's interesting. I guess maybe it's not in my, I guess it makes sense. It's probably not within my own piece of land, but I think I've decided with the prices. I am going to wait. It's a bit of a gamble really, isn't it? It's a 50-50 chance if you're going to lose money or gain more money from waiting. Uh, but I think I'm going to wait because according to the chart, it should either get better or stay fairly similar. So, yeah, I will double check the prices yet again. But I do think that that is what we will be doing. Um, yeah, and I, I, I really hope that I'm not wrong about doing it that way. Anyway, putting the weeder slash cedar away. There we go. Turn off the engine. Let's again double check the prices. As you can see, in January, it technically... F okay, for the letters, it should actually be February. But if we take a look at something like the oats. Oh, wait a minute. 
Seems like the chat has updated. Huh. That's interesting. So now it says for oats, December is the best month and the price is going to go down in January. Okay, what about silage then? Hmm. Silage still says January. Right. I'm going to wait with the silage for January. Uh, lettuce is supposed to be February. So we should be able to get a lot more. But the price is supposedly good. But if we could get... Hmm. I'm going to wait with the lettuce. I'm also going to wait with the silage. Uh, the soybeans are not even ready. But the oats... I think we're going to sell them. Question is, do I want to elapse more time? Potentially getting a better price. But I also don't want it to be night time. Right. Yep, we're definitely selling the oats today. So I guess we're getting back into the tractor. And I need to find out where I have put my trailer. I feel like I would have put it there, like I always do. Maybe it's in the barn. Ah, there it is. Can't hide from me, buddy. This is exciting, actually. <laughs> I do wonder how much the price is going to change, like, last minute. I probably really should remove the extension of this thing. We haven't really used it, to be quite honest. Um, so far, this is the best price, but it is... It does say it's going up. So I will allow for more time to pass without it being too dark, of course. But this is the first time we're getting stuff from our actual silo. Uh, start filling. I believe it will ask us what oats, indeed. Oh, that that wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was really, really quick. Right, the prices are starting to settle, so Goldcrest Valley, I think, is going to be the place that we're going to. Hopefully, it's not the train. Oh, that is the train. That is the train. Why is the best price always in the train? Uh, in that case, even though this is showing it's going down, it still has almost the same price. So, I'm going to tag this place instead, which shouldn't be the train. It's up here. Okay. It's right up the road. Nice. Alright. On a field trip we go. Now I'm not expecting to earn much from this. And that is one thing that I have considered about this series. Is the economy stuff is set to hardest difficulty. Which I'm starting to not regret as such. But regret <laughs> not because I don't like a challenge but because I do want to progress in this series and we have talked about before how at least in some places and in and some produce has more value than non-organic produce so it could be talked or that's that's not how you say it it could be discussed that we could justify changing the economy setting from high to medium based on that. But I don't know if that would be, quote unquote, abusing the, si abusing the system too much. I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Because right now the economy stuff is like at the highest difficulty. Which means we also get way less for our produce. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's something I've started to think about. But mm, I'm not sure if that's something I want to change. Because like I said, I do want it to be a challenge. But I also don't want it to be like extremely, extremely hard. So we will never progress at all. If you know what I mean. So yeah, leave your thoughts on that down below in the comments. But anyways, here we are. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I guess I can keep going up. Uh, maybe go in here. Yep. Fresh produce. Our fresh produce. <laughs> I 
after they have turned into flour or something. I don't know what they do with it. But here we are. I believe we have sold some stuff here before, actually. Yep. Okay. Tipping side. Uh, back. Tip side. Green door. Back. So, green door. Don't want that. I want the back of it. I want to be able to take a quick screenshot of this. Uh, yep. Start overloading. Nice. 5,463. So that's what I meant. If if our economy was maybe at medium settings, we would have maybe gotten like 10, 10,000 or so from that. Whoops, wrong button. Like if I go in here, scroll down to I believe this one. Economy difficulty hard. The economy difficulty affects the buying and selling prices. Also, the revenue of contracts is based on this factor. So things overall would become easier if we put it to medium and we would earn more from our produce. But regardless, that was not bad for our first harvest. It's considering the fields weren't fully fertilized and our fields are tiny. <laughs> I feel like that's not too bad. Plus, we still have the lettuce to sell, and we also have the silage, which is probably where we're going to earn the most amount of money. Um, but we do now have the option of buying that new field. So while, but but, but while I'm thinking about that. We're going to head to the dealers here because I want to take the extension off of this trailer and put our tires back to normal tires. Because, well, we don't need these crop tires anymore. And I feel like having the extension on this is just adding more weight to the trailer. So we're going to fix that real quick before moving on to the next month. If at all we're moving on to the next month. Hmm. This might be a shorter episode because I do want to hear your guys' opinions. Is that not a... are they not supposed to... Ay ay ay. That guy's dangerous. But like I was saying... <laughs> before I nearly got hit in an intersection... I do want to hear you guys' opinion on the... on the prices selling stuff. So I might keep this episode shorter. And not skip to the next month. I, plus, I do like doing one month per episode. Some episodes will do more work, some episodes will do less. But for now, let's head on over to the workshop and get this thing configured. Here we are. Oh, I thought that guy would turn in over here, but nope. Well, not turn in, but continue down the road. Oh yeah, I still have that bag of lime. I really should be moving that. <laughs> but anyways, let's get this stuff configured. It shouldn't cost us anything, because we already own the extension, we just need to take it off. So, configuration, standard. Yeah, I think that's just gonna make sense, because we never have this much in a trailer at once anyway. And the tractor, we can change the tires back to standard. Perfect. One thing that I have considered actually for the tractor is getting a weight. But I don't think we need that at the moment. Attach this. And go home. And I do want to take a quick look at that field we wanted to buy. I might buy it, but I'm not sure. I want to take a quick look at it. But first, let's go home. And home we... R. See, I waited for that guy on like the AI driving around that would probably just pull out. <laughs> All right, let's put in the trailer here in the barn. In fact, I might just leave the tractor here. Work lights on? Nope. Off with the engine. Detach the trailer because we probably won't need it for now. And close up shop. Okay, so the field that I'm interested in buying is 
not this one. I believe it's... Yeah, this one right here. Yield bonus, it has been fertilized. So they probably did spread some manure or something on this. Uh, fertilized. Ooh, they did indeed. Hmm. That instantly makes this field more attractive. I do wonder if they're going to fertilize it even more. Well, as long as they haven't harvested this field, I'll be able to buy it. We still have about 4,000 liters of water in these greenhouses. This one has 3,000, that one has just about 4,000. So they will be good for a few more months as well. So guys, I'm actually going to call this an episode here, a little bit shorter of an episode, I do apologize, but I really want to hear you guys' opinions on the economy setting down below in the comments. I might in fact post a poll, if I remember to do so, right at the top of the description, if whether or not we should change the economy setting to medium or leave it at high. Do let me know what you think down below in the comments and by voting. But yeah, really hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one where hopefully we will be selling the silage the lettuce well lettuce is for february but at least the, at least the silage probably the not the soybeans i keep thinking we have some other wheat crop but we don't and maybe we'll buy that field it really depends but like i said hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time have a wonderful day and goodbye